Five years ago, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft changed forever. The first real YouTuber invasion on 2b2t.org by the Camping Rusher brought thousands of people to a server that usually had at most 20 people on it. This week we are celebrating that 5 year anniversary at a public event where we have rebuilt some of the major landmarks from the 2016 Russia War. And then, we are leaking our location to the public to finish things off. Things will get pretty crazy at a public event on an Anarchy server, especially this close to spawn. Thanks for checking in to another 2B2T video, and remember to leak the subscribe button's coordinates to PopBob in order to keep updated on all things 2B2T. With that out of the way, let's jump into it. The build was constructed by myself and a few other people, with the Fit and Rusher statues being designed by my good friend Banana. The centerpiece of the base was known as the Dark Souls Castle, which was made on 2B2T a good time before the Rusher War. And this is the place where Fit and Rusher fought their climactic battle of the Rusher War. There is also a large tower from the Crystal Islands, another famous Rusher era build. I will let the tour play out and then we will get right to the public event where I created a mini game similar to the Fight Club, but with swords. The idea was each person has similar gear, you eat a golden apple before the fight, then you fight with swords until a totem is popped. Once the totem is popped, that person loses. This is because the PvP meta back then, during the Russia War, was sword fighting, not Crystal PvP. Crystal PvP was not a widely used strategy back then, and for most of the Russia War, it wasn't even an option. Alright, so with the tour out of the way, the first fight can take place. This fight was really close. I ended up winning with only half a heart of health remaining. This brings back memories for sure. Over here you can see the Russia War Iceberg, where I had people kind of lay out their most commonly known things about the Russia War, and as it goes deeper we get into some more <laughs> conspiratorial parts of uh, the Russia War. For instance, Pop Bob being Housemaster or FitMC having hair. That sort of thing. Then we played a game of Spleef at a small arena made by Breadloafs, a good friend of mine. FitMC used to do a Spleef tournament on 2B2T quite regularly before he got into YouTube, as a job at least. We had a lot of people show up to the event, and I decided to set off a firework display in honor of the 5 year anniversary. Of course, this caused a lot of lag, and the only reason I'm able to show you this is because of replay mod, uh, because this lags on a normal client. Yeah, gotta love Minecraft. The banners that you see on either side are the Rusher banner and the Vet banner, respectively. Before the event, someone messaged me in 2B2T chat telling me that they had found the arena and blown up the event. Well, it turns out that they were outplayed. I posted a promotional poster on the Reddit which was used to advertise the event. Well, I posted a picture that showed I was inside the Dark Souls castle, so a griefer went to the actual location of the original Dark Souls castle 
and lava casted it, then messaged me in 2B2T chat telling me that they just griefed my event. I was sitting at my event waiting for it to begin in peace. So it was pretty comical hearing this. Of course, once the event went public, people did show up to try and grief the event, and I was killed. But the person that showed up to grief came back and died three more times. I think that's pretty fair. I personally don't mind when people show up to grief the event. It's actually part of the intended ending to the event. Whenever we're ready to end the event, I just invite the entire public and see how long it lasts. To me, this is one of the best parts of 2B2T. Trying to do something on an anarchy server with the public. It's a very risky proposition, especially this close to spawn. I'd like to thank Henry for providing me some supplemental footage and all of the builders including Banana on 2B2T, Breadloafs, and Iron Exception. As Iron Exception made both of the maps that we used to promote the event. One of them was the original thumbnail for Rusher's first video on the server. He used to call it the oldest server in Minecraft. Yeah, well, they found out later that wasn't the case, but still a good meme. The other map that he made was actually from the Discord icon that we used to organize the event. I think that was made by Hermetic Lock, the icon that is. After Syndicate NA and Maxi Taxi defended the castle and drove the griefers away, we all just kind of chilled out at the castle in the ruins of the event. And afterwards, I kind of just was drained and when everyone started to help rebuild the castle it was very surreal and something that you don't generally see on 2b2t you may have already noticed but i also put armor stands out with leather god armor of different colors on the armor stands for people to take at the end if you didn't see my last video about the 2B2T secret art gallery, check that out if you have a chance too. It's very epic. The legendary Triangle Men showed up and even brought us some cool map art. I'd like to thank everyone that came out to the event. It was a great time for me and I look forward to seeing what we can do in the future. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you in the next one.